It's official. Along with nine other movie titles, Swamp Thing is a part of Peter Safran and James Gunn's plans to reboot the DC Universe. That's right, Gunn shared the upcoming slate from DC Studios with the fittingly titled Chapter 1, Gods and Monsters, in which he presented TV titles including a Green Lantern series, Superman Legacy, and interestingly, Swamp Thing. So stay with me until the end as I have some really great news to share with you. Now let's dive in with a short recap and an origin story. Danger from the past. Returning. It breathes, it dreams, and at night beneath the low-hanging fog, it shambles through the shadows with its red eyes and funereal soul. The swamp has a spirit and it walks on two legs, a monster that was once a man. The creators of the characters are the horror artist Bernie Wrightson and Len Wein. Swamp Thing first appeared in 1971's House of Streets No. 92 as a standalone story. Instantly, the character became viral and gained huge prominence during the initial wine rights and run in the 1970s. Soon after, from a simple horror comic, the character evolved to one with vast elemental mythology, confronting complicated issues of life and death throughout its historic run. First and most likely to serve as the basis for all the Swamp Thing's superhero actions in DCU will be Alec Holland. Alec was a scientist who spent his life working on the bio-restorative formula in a secret facility located in the Louisiana Swamplands. This is a formula that was supposed to stimulate the hormonal growth of plant life and end the world's natural food shortages. But Bruno and Ferret, the thugs who are working for Nathan Ellery, knocked Alec out and decided to plant a bomb in the facility. Alec ran into the nearby swamp engulfed in flames, not knowing that his body had been drenched in the formula. This affected the plant life of the swamp and formed a humanoid body that became the superhero known as Swamp Thing, imbuing it with Alec's consciousness and memories. Swamp Thing has his fair share of attributes and powers as with every DC superhero, which helps him stand tall next to James Gunn Superman. Due to his nature of being composed of sentient matter, as in elementals, he can be healed through processes such as photosynthesis or composting, which means he has a self-sustaining power. With the elemental force connected to plant life, his superhuman strength can become nearly limitless. He's also in constant communication with Earth's essence, which means he can control all plant life. This connection also enables him to have a form of teleportation. Through the green and imbuing his consciousness, he can grow a body in another area. With all that being said, I think we can consider him immortal because as long as there's plant life somewhere on the planet, he'll be there and his consciousness can be transferred. And that's all great. And here's one very important question. How can all that fit in Peter Safran's upcoming DCU? There's this poison coming off the small. You should be dead! He died to protect the ones he loved. The darkness was never meant to leave him. Swamp Thing movie will hit that like button, just like you should do if you haven't done so already. No, really, this movie will be a dark horror movie, according to James Gunn's words. It'll be a movie that will explore the origins of the character. While still linking to the universe, this movie will be very tonally different from everything else that has been announced in the DCU, added Gunn. His story will circle around Alec Holland's life, his wife, and their work on the formula, but it will probably present the whole thing in a dark and tragic way. The movie will definitely be imbued with horror elements. Anyway, apart from the comics, this won't be the first time Swamp Thing appeared on the screens. The character has had its fair share of TV and movie adaptations, from the first appearance on the big screen in 1982's Swamp Thing to the live-action television adaptation developed by Joseph Stefano, and of course the most recent project from three years ago. This was in fact one season of a TV series titled Swamp Thing. With its grotesque visuals, southern gothic charm, and engaging mysterious storyline centered on a small Louisiana town, the character made a formidable debut on May the 31st, 2019. But I can say that its stellar world really made the series stand out from other DC live-action shows. Headed up by IT screenwriter Gary Doberman and Battlestar Galactica alum Mark Verheiden, this was definitely a very important project for the DC fans. If you add in the director Len Wiseman and the executive producer James Wan, you'll get the Hollywood recipe for a really good horror series. The series is actually an origin story as well. In the beginning, the center stage takes Crystal Reed's Abby Arcane. She comes back home to investigate the new virus, but the writers wisely chose her wisely as a gateway to drag us into this strange new world that's filled with colorful characters like Dr. Holland and the mystic Madame Zanadu. 
Alec has kind of the same job as Abby, and he investigates that everything is linked to the illegal dumping of chemicals into the local swamps. I can easily say that Bean possesses just the right amount of vulnerability and bravado needed to play a character of this magnitude. A very solid portrayal of the determined botanist. Alec and Abby's electric chemistry is straight out of a rom-com, but it's the supporting cast who gets all the best moments, I would say. Okay, enough about that, now let's focus on the future plans. So who's making this reboot? Well, according to Collider, James Mangold is already in talks to helm this Swamp Thing reboot. Mangold already smashed that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. No, really in all seriousness now, he shared a 1972 illustration of Swamp Thing by Bernie Wrightson on Twitter, and he showed his appreciation for the hero from the action movies like Night and Day to spearheading dramas such as Walk the Line and even the Academy Award winning Ford v Ferrari, Mangold has had an extensive career. On top of that, in the world of comic book movie adaptations, he's no stranger as well. What would you say if I tell you that he was an executive producer, wrote and directed Logan, which has been highly praised for its emotional and uncompromising direction? At the moment, he's directing the Bob Dylan biopic starring Timothy Chalamet, titled A Complete Unknown, and what a moment, Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny. He definitely has a tight schedule, but we can only hope to see Mangold on board for this DC project. The DCU Phase 1 movie announcement didn't confirm the release date of the movie, however, it's expected that the studio will release two movies per year. Superman Legacy is confirmed for a July 2025 release date, so going with this schedule, if it's lucky enough, Swamp Thing should be the second release of 2025, as four other movies will end filming the same year. As for the cast, I think it's very early to say anything, but there are many actors who would be happy to jump into the world of superheroes. Now the most important question, what can we expect from this movie? As it was announced, the movie will investigate the dark origins of the creature, leaning on to a horror-influenced and darker tone, the audience can also expect the mashup quality that's evident in previous Marvel projects like Avengers Endgame or Avengers Infinity War. This is a character with a very rich backstory, so the plot could take each direction if you ask me. I'm sure it'll be interesting to watch it, and do you know why? Dr. Alec Holland had all the answers, he was an intelligent man, but Alec Holland is dead, and in his place stands only a Swamp Thing, exactly as he's the protector of plant life and the avatar of the green, so stay tuned and wait for more official information to be shared by the studio. And what about you? Who do you think will take the lead role and what will be the main focus of the plot? Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.